Hello and welcome to Raju Notes channel, your pit stop for weekly current affairs updates. The updates tailor made for students taking all kinds of competitive exams like UPSC, civils, defense and placement interviews. Please subscribe to the channel and stay updated every Sunday. Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO has successfully conducted three flight tests of the fourth generation very short range air defense system also known as VSHORADS at Pokhran field firing ranges in Rajasthan this week. The tests conducted in the last two days were carried out against a high speed target demonstrating very critical parameters of maximum range and minimum altitude of interception. Ministry of Defence said that these developmental trials showcased the repeatability of the hit-to-kill capability of the weapon system in various target engagement scenarios, covering approaching, receding and crossing models. Vishwarats is a man-portable air defence system designed and developed indigenously by Research Centre Imarat RCI in Hyderabad in collaboration with other DRDO laboratories and development come production partners. The three services have been associated with the project right from the beginning and participated during the development trials. The Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the year 2024 has been awarded to scientists Victor Ambrose and Gary Rukun for their discovery of microRNA and its role in post-transcriptional gene regulation. MicroRNA is a fundamental principle governing how a gene activity is regulated. Announcing the decision, the Nobel Assembly of Sweden's Karolinska Institute, a research-led medical university in Stockholm, stated that the discovery made by these two scientists have proven to be fundamentally important for understanding how organisms develop and function. The winner will receive a sum of $1.1 million. This year's award is the 115th Nobel Prize to be presented in physiology or medicine since 1901. Of the 229 winners, only 13 have been women. The Red Panda program of Darjeeling's Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park has been selected as the finalist for the World Association of Zoos and Aquariums (WAZA). Conservation Award 2024. Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park has undertaken several habitat restoration initiatives in collaboration with various institutions and the Government of India. Between 2022 and 2024, nine captive bred red pandas, seven females and two males were released into Singalila National Park in West Bengal. The zoo's conservation effects are strengthened by its biobanking and genetic resource facility, wherein gametes, tissues and DNA of red pandas and other endangered species will be preserved for future use. The winner for the Waza Award will be announced on the 7th of the next month at the 79th Waza Annual Conference in Australia's Trongo Zoo. Union Commerce Minister Mr. Piyush Goel has informed that the Indian and UAE government are working on interlinking of UPI of India and the ANI AANI of UAE. It will facilitate seamless cross-border transactions between the two countries. This will benefit over 3 million Indians residing in the UAE, enabling them to use the power of UPI and ANI. Mr. Goel was addressing a press conference after the 12th meeting of the India-UAE High-Level Joint Task Force on Investment in Mumbai last week. The meeting was co-chaired by the Managing Director of Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, His Highness Sheikh Hamid bin Zayed Al Naya. Government shares list of outcomes after PM Modi meets Maldives President Moizu. A currency swap agreement and four other memorandums of understanding were signed and renewed between India and Maldives after President Mohammad Moizu met with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. A comprehensive vision document on economic and maritime security partnership was adopted. A memorandum of understanding between CBI and 
Maldives Anti-Corruption Commission for Cooperation on Preventing and Combating Corruption was also signed. Maldivian President Mohamed Moizu also agreed to let India deploy defense platforms and assets in the country. This comes a few months after his government had made India withdraw all its military personnel stationed in Maldives. India will also provide radar systems and other equipment to Maldives to help enhance surveillance and monitoring capability of Maldives National Defense Force. John Hopfield and Jeffrey Hinton awarded Nobel Prize in Physics. The 2024 Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to American scientist John J. Hopfield and British Canadian computer scientist Jeffrey E. Hinton. They have been honored for foundational discoveries and inventions that enable machine learning with artificial neural networks. A prize money of 11 million Swedish kronor that is around 8.9 crores will be shared amongst the duo. The World Health Organization WHO has declared that this year India has eliminated trachoma as public health problem. With this, India has become the third country in the Southeast Asia region to achieve this milestone. The WHO officially certified India during its regional committee meeting at New Delhi. Trachoma is a contagious bacterial infection that affects eyes and spread through the eyes, eyelids, nose or throat secretions of infected people. During 1950-1960, to 1960, trachoma was among the leading cause of blindness in the country. To tackle the spread, the Government of India launched National Trachoma Control Program in 1963. Scientists David Baker, John Jumper and Demis Hassabis have won the 2024 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for breakthroughs in predicting the designing and structure of proteins. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences announced half of the prize to David Baker for computational protein design and other half jointly to John Jumper and Demis Hassabis for protein structure prediction. The Nobel Committee for Chemistry in a statement said, David Baker built entirely new kinds of proteins and John Jumper and Demis Hassabis developed an artificial intelligence model to solve the 50-year-old problem, predicting proteins' complex structures. Mr. Baker works at the University of Washington in Seattle, United States, while Mr. Hassabis and Mr. Jumper work at Google DeepMind, the tech giant AI lab in London. North Korea announced to completely separate its territory from the South by cutting off all roads, rail links and buildings fortifications on its side. Its military said the North will permanently shut off and block the southern border starting from this week. The Korean People's Army said that the move is a response to the grave situation in which the imminent danger of war is escalating day by day along the southern border. Local media reported that this marks an escalation of hostility at the time when tensions between the Korea are at their highest point in the years. Earlier, South Korea's military said in July that North Korea had already been installing landmines and barriers and creating wasteland along the heavily militarized border for months this year, despite accidents. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has stressed that a free, open, inclusive, prosperous and rules-based Indo-Pacific is vital for the peace and progress of the entire region. He said peace, security and stability of the South China Sea is in the interest of the entire Indo-Pacific region. The Prime Minister was speaking at the 19th East Asia Summit in Vientiane, Lao, PDR this week. Highlighting concerns over the ongoing conflict in the different regions of the world, Mr. Modi said development should be the approach and not expansionism. He said the ongoing conflicts in the different regions are negatively impacting the countries of the global south. He said cooperation will also have to be strengthened in the areas of cyber, maritime and space. The East Asia Summit encompasses the 10 ASEAN countries and the 8 partners 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया चाइना इंडिया जापान साउथ कोरिया न्यूजीलैंड रशिया एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स In a significant move towards self-reliance, the Indian Army has rolled out its first overhauled T-90 Bhishma tank, further enhancing its operational readiness. The T-90 Bhishma, the Army's main battle tank since 2003, is known for its firepower, speed and protection. With this overhaul, the tank has become even more powerful and lethal. As part of the ongoing decade of transformation in the Indian Army, Chief of the Army Staff General Upendra Divedi witnessed the rollout ceremony of the overhaul T-90 Bhishma tank recently. The complex overhaul process involves disassembling the tank and replacing any damaged parts. This particular overhaul was carried out at the 505 Army Base Workshop at Army Corps of Electronics and Mechanical Engineers in Delhi Cantonment. Noel Tata has been unanimously appointed chairperson of Tata Trust, the philanthropic arm of the Tata Group on this Friday. This decision was made during a board meeting following the passing of Ratan Tata on Wednesday at the age of 86. Noel Tata, Ratan Tata's half brother, serves on the board of several listed companies including Tata Steel and Voltas. The decision to appoint Noel Tata as chairperson was made with Ratan Tata's philosophy of moving on in mind The United States has announced sanctions targeting Iran's energy trade in light of missile attacks launched by the country against Israel The US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has said that the United States is taking measures to disrupt the flow of revenue that Iran uses to fund its nuclear program The department further said Treasury is sanctioning 10 entities and identifying 17 vessels as blocked property for their involvement in shipments of Iran's petroleum and petrochemical products. The sanctions will freeze the entities assets in the United States and generally make it illegal for Americans to engage in financial transactions with them. Tehran fired a barrage of missiles at Israel on October 1st in retaliation for killing of Hamas chief Ismail Haniya in Tehran and assassinations of Hezbollah leaders Hassan Nasrallah in Beirut Nihon Hidonkyo a Japanese group of atomic bomb survivors from Hiroshima and Nagasaki has won the Nobel Peace Prize 2024 the group also known as Hibakusa was recognized for its tireless efforts to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons for demonstrating through witness testimony that nuclear weapons must never be used again. The award was announced at the Norwegian Nobel Institute in Oslo. Iranian human rights activist Nargis Mohammadi won the prize in 2023 when she was honored for her work fighting the oppression of women in Iran. President Draupadi Murmu will embark on a three-nation visit to Algeria, Mauritius and Malawi from tomorrow till 19th of October. This will be the first ever visit by President of India to the three African nations. The historic visit comes a year after the African Union was made a permanent member of the G20 during India's presidency. During her week-long visit, President Draupadi Murmu will hold bilateral meetings and interact with Indian diaspora. On the first leg of her visit, President Draupadi Murmu will visit Algeria from tomorrow till 15th of October. On the second leg of the visit, President Murmu will visit Mauritius on 16th of October. The visit is taking place at a crucial time when the Mauritius is holding the presidency of African Union. On the last leg of the visit, President Draupadi Murmu will visit Malawi from 17th of 19th October. Well, that's all friends for this week's updates. See you soon next Sunday on the same channel. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.